Sam. And uh, we're up a little teeny little creek today. Uh, and had a nice little rain here not too long ago. And water kind of come over this bedrock. And I, I've worked this spot before and you got to really dig, scrape under the bedrock to get something. But I'm thinking, who knows, maybe the, the rain water might have washed a little bit down and I won't have to struggle too hard to get get the bedrock moved. But we just took a couple of shovelfuls and do us a test pan and see what we get. Classify this time. Why? I don't know. I just want to wash it a little better and take a good look at what I'm scraping off this bedrock. Okay, shovel full. <laughs> it ain't really shovel full, but when you're working with bedrock, not easy and I didn't I didn't bring my pinch bar today and I'm just oh I'm just taking as much as I can from around it with the shovel oh well, that's some mud there that might be a good sign we'll take this and <coughs> pan it out and see what we get I think this fell right into that mud. I see. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think that might be a part of decomposed bedrock because see it's got that little teeny quartz vein running through it right there. So and that, and I'm not a geologist, so I, I don't know. I just know that I've got gold out of it before. And uh, also if it is decomposed bedrock. It's a good chance that uh, the gold, when it gets on the bedrock, then later on when the bedrock is decomposed by exposure or whatever causes it to get decomposed, it uh, the gold goes down even a little deeper. So when you pull that up, then, you know, you get down a little bit of the decomposed and you still might be into the gold. And I'm just washing a couple of these rocks off here and make sure you get them clean kind of put your eye on now I'm getting to a little more slurring action here I can really scrape into it and take a good look and I don't see nothing in my classifier so this right here sometimes can be hard packed so what I'll do I'll take my fingers and I'll scrape it at the bottom of the pan and loosen up a little bit and then I'll start my panning and uh, I know I'm a little fast some of y'all might comment on that and I appreciate it but uh this is, uh, we're trying to go on film, and I want to find some gold, so we want to get as many of these pans uh, going on as quick as we can, because I'm honest. I mean, which, what I get is, is what I get, and I'm not going to put nothing in it, so if I don't get nothing, <laughs> you'll see it. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> boy, that's a lot of black sand there, but we'll, uh, Get it on down. You just want to keep on. I don't know. I hate to. I like to just keep on paying until I see a flash, but I don't see it, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it back and hopefully there's something in there anyway. Yeah, I see it. I see a, a nice little speck. Let's see. All right, now, you see that little speck there? And there's a speck there. I don't think that's one there. But, uh, let's tell you, hey, wait a minute there, it's, that's another one there, that's a little bit of gold here, let me, let me wash it a little bit more, 
So I'm going to bring it on down to the focal point. Now, I've gotten away from the riffles now because it's pretty much done its job. It's up to me to be careful and not to let it go out the door. <laughs> out the pan. But uh, I'm going to do it one more time. I can see the little speck in the corner there. Let me roll it back and take a good look. Alright, one, two, three. Well, you know, that might be something there. I'm not sure. And four or five. It's, it's nice to feel. That's one pan. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, I think I'll uh, shut the camera off and we'll play a little bit here. And if you get anything significant, I'll show it to you. And I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my website at www.prospectgram.com. Thank you.